right guys welcome to the third video in the series what we're going to do where we left off we um, we added the uh, the tap gesture on the on the we added the tap gesture on the screen itself on the switch so when we press it we have a visual and alert confirmation saying that we are now alerted uh, at the end of it we're going to remove that alert but uh, for now let us hardwire uh, this label right here so that way um, we make it uh, make it more friendly okay so we are back in code behind and um, let's add fields labels and uh, f sorry fields methods and properties for the label okay so first thing we're going to do is we are going to create, I uh, like to create the, the static property first. Okay, so we're creating that and we're calling it label property. And it's gonna, we're gonna do this, bindable property and we're going to create it's going to be uh, we're going to give it a name of label Let's give it a name of uh, label don't worry I'm going to fix that I'm going to give it a name of uh, label it's going to be type of uh, type of string uh, declaring type is also going to be my switch okay um, oops I forgot my comma yes okay so now that I fixed the comma um, we are moving on the default value which is always going to be a uh, string empty okay all right now we're doing bindable mode binding mode I'm sorry binding mode is always going to be going to be one way and the property change. It's gonna be label property change. And we are going to add that later on. So, but now let us create the fields for it. Let me publish string, calling it label. Okay. All right, we're doing it like this. Cast it as a string, of course, and then we're going to get the, the value. It's going to be label property. Close that, and we we'll get on on the setter now. Set value label property and. Okay, now that we're done with this, we're creating the label property change. So we're going, we're going with protected static protected static void label. So let me do this. Let me just copy and paste to prevent typos. Okay, so it's going to be bindable object, bindable object, old value, object, new value. Okay, so now that we do that, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Okay. What we're doing is Oh, of course, we're always going to check if the label is, if the control is uh, is not null. If it is not null, we're going to set the label to, the label value to whatever we set later on. So, we're doing bindable is my switch. And we're setting that to control. And then we're setting. Okay, so now we're doing 
control. Okay, so now that we've done that, we go back to uh, XAML form. We delete this. Okay, and then we go to main page. Um, that's where we're going to have this. So let's update this. It says, uh, let's give it a name. This is my new label from main page. Okay, if we hit save, we save everything and we hit play. Okay. Now it says this is my new label from, <laughs> it's uh, truncated because it's too long. But um, let's go back to main page and delete this. I'm gonna say the label is now blue. Okay, I'm gonna replay it. And here we go, it says the label is now blue. Okay, so on the next video, what we're going to do now is we're going to continue um, with the switch itself. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next video.